and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. And if you're an old subscriber, welcome back. It's been ages, right? Well, welcome back. So we learn how to make our cow neck or top. You can make it down, you can make it top. And if you make a cow neck, or you don't know what cow neck is, but I'm just going to turn around so you can see. That's cow neck. So this is basically what we call cow neck down on top. And your cow neck will be at the front or at the back. So well, let's get to work. So what we first want to do my bed today. So we should be happy bed. So let's get to the work station, get our pattern and make our dress. Now first thing you do is you construct your basic body, which is what we've done. This is the half cut, but we're using this now for the back instead of the front of the dress. But you can, this, this, uh, tutorial i'm teaching you now you could do it for the front of your dress you could do it for the back but this time i'm doing it for the back of the dress so you construct your basic body if you don't know how to construct your basic bodies well check the link in the description box on how to make your basic body so first thing i'll be doing now is i'll just rule a line because i'm not using starting from here i'll be leaving this parts so i'll just rule a line in an inch um okay so for those that likes to be precise, let's do five inches. For those that still ask how many inches, but I said any. So let's do five inches. So really nice. So this is our starting point. So what we do is first of all, this um this basic bodies I made, this top stopped at the waist length. This is an half court blouse. Look at it stopped at this end. so we are going to be tearing into this so what you do is from your shoulder to your desired length where you want your cow to stop so for me here yeah, i want because it's for the back so if it's for the front you have to be careful so that your board your boot your um, cleavage will not show so maybe you measure from your shoulder to wherever your cleavage is then you know what to do but since I'm putting at the back, there's no cleavage at the back. So if anything shows, it's just my back that is showing. And that's what I want. So I'll be going from my shoulder to 11 inches or even 12. You can go as much as 13, but don't get to your waist. You get to your waist, uh, you're naked already. So um, I'll be going 11. 11 is fine. Okay, let me do 12. Or oh, 11. 11 is fine. So I'm doing 11 inches. So I'll just I just mark now from my shoulder to 11 inches. So this mark I'll be cutting it out. I'll be cutting it inward. Sorry. So I'll just cut it straight. To almost the end of the paper. So look at it. This is it. So now I'm going to place this on this part too construct a new pattern but before then here i'll measure the same length i took here okay well don't do the same length just do a standard there's a standard of 13 inches so just do 13 inches here I me mean, i like to do 13 inches so i'll just do 13 inches here that's from here to here is 13 inches now i'll place the shoulder of my dress yeah on this 13 inches mark so you just use a maxing tape to place it there so it's there then let me try to adjust this so you can see then this part you place it let it be at the front of the pattern Get to what I'm saying. So this part is going to align with our pattern paper. Uh oh, oh, my pattern now is not into two parts that have been divided, but it's fine. So this is it. Just place it. Keep it in place. So I'll just use my tape to join these parts again so that no one will get confused. If I used a thicker paper, I think that this would have happened. So 
make sure I adjust very well. So this is it. So this is what it looks like. Then this line, yeah, you extend here upward. You mark, you just place your tape here and then mark how many inches here from here to the paper is one inch so you just take one inch and then from this same point don't forget this is the point the masking tape you just cover it just rule it is just a guide so we are forming kind of in an angle here so this is it so this is your shoulder measurement this is your shoulder so you take the same length on this other side of the paper this is five inches so you will bring this five inches back here then for this part you just trace it trace it out so this is the new pattern we'll be cutting on our fabric easy right this is just basically how to make it so this is it you don't need to trace the neck out because this is the neck that is going to drop and fall back so then for this part that we extended the extension is then you just mark one inch on this line where it ends mark one inch this line okay sorry this is the line this is the five inches so on this five inches mark you just mark one inch upward you pull it down and then take it straight so I hope you're getting it. So now, what is the reason for this? So that this part is serving as the lining for the cow neck. You don't want to stop if you cut it here, move it in like the artwork. So, but this one, now, this part will fold in, and then you get the real picture. But don't worry, as soon as we're going, you see what it looks like. So, I just want to cut this now. Quickly cut this. Sorry, my background is a little bit noisy. I'm in my hair shop and we are open for business. So I just quickly said, let me drop this tutorial here. Let me just make a video here. Yeah. We're utilizing every space we got. We do videos at home, we do videos at the shop, everywhere. We're well, not in church anyway. So, so this is it. So this is our new pattern so this is what we used our basic for this construct now so you'll be looking like ah this pattern is awful don't forget this is the shoulder so when this one comes in this is the shoulder by the time you sew the shoulder together with the back the or your front shoulder you know the shoulder is not bent like this it's coming forward like this you see this part folding inward so you see the drape and then this is the armpit and this is the other part of it. So I'm cutting this on fabric. I've already cut all my patterns. My the back, the, the front pattern. The front I'm using a high neck, three by three. That's what I want. And then this is the waist. But when I'm cutting on fabric, you're not going to see this waist because I want to add elastic at the side. I just want this kind of uh, fit, this kind of gathers at the side. So I won't be using the waist. I'll be using the hip measurement as waist. So this is the. the Co uh, co uh, other part of the dress this is what the dress is meant to look like for sure you can see i extended it the waist on this part so this is what the dress is supposed to look like downwards to whatever, to whatever length you want the gown to whatever length i want but when i'm cutting now i'll cut the from the bust straight down like this because i want to put elastic to gather it so here will be gathered with elastic and then still that so that's what I'm going to do for the, um, the front side of the dress and the down. And this is the sleeve. I want a long time, so I'm already cut the sleeve. You don't know how to cut sleeve, you can also check the link in the description box on how to make your basic sleeve. Just cut it with the length. I made this one the length of 23 inches a long sleeve. So I'm going to be cutting this on fabric and then we'll cut this. This is the back now, the back of the dress. I said you can use it as front for those who want this type of neck at the front of the address but this one i'm using at the back of the dress why this is going to be the front of the dress the front and then i'll cut this down this one for both 
the back and the front as the skirt that will be joining this part to the gown the three quarter down. So just join me and watch me as I cut it and then I sew it. Now to the cutting of fabric, I place my fabric on four is now full then i've placed my pattern on it you can see the type of fabric is something that can drip very well it's made of satin material um, so just place the fabric on full i'm going to put a weight on it because all the way the fabric behaves so i'm going to be cutting this is my back pattern and like i said this could be front pattern for someone well, I want to use my use it for back pattern. So this is the waist, this is the shoulder, this is the ankle, this is the bust, this is the waist, the waistline. So, but I said I don't want uh, my waist to be no my waist. I want to add elastic to my waist. I want to use my hip measurement on the waist. So I was supposed to do it on the pattern before cutting. So I'll just place my hip measurement back on the waist. So I'm doing it directly on the fabric. So this is my keep measuring this is the bust line so I just connect it so it is the bust measurement so this is my waist now my new waist measurement so this line now that extended here then I'm supposed to just cut the shape out but don't forget that you'll be adding our sewing sewing allowance you'll be adding your sewing allowance so on this line I'm going to be adding one inch or one and a half for sewing allowance so let me do one and a half for sewing allowance so I'll add one and a half on the side for sewing allowance so this is it then for the apple we're adding half inch round to join the sleeve you know the ample will join the sleeve by half inch so this is it just add half inch round then on the shoulder they added half inch on the shoulder so join the front shoulder and then here same thing then just cut it out so for this part where for the half length the down here supposed to add half inch that will join that used to join the other part of the Gown, but I already added the half inch when cutting. But from this is my back pattern, and my back half length is 15 and a half and not 16. So I will reduce it by half inch. So this is the length. I reduce it by half inch. Sorry, my table is so small. I just reduce it by half inch. So when I'm cutting, if not to get any more confused anyway, I'll just we use it on the fabric, so let's just cut. So I've finished cutting. So if I open it up, you're wondering what kind of a more big shape is this. But um, don't forget, this is the shoulder. So this shoulder and this shoulder. We join to the three seats. This is how it will be before you join it to the front or the back of your dress, depending on where you are placing your cow neck. So, this part now will dip in inside. I'm sure you're getting the picture now. So, this is the neck. So, this part now will dip in inside. So, this is going to be at my back. You can see it now that this is the ample back to the ample back to the normal basic body shape so you can see it this is the waist so this part will take it inside so i'll show you i'll cut the front pattern and then you'll see what it looks like so now i want to cut the front pattern this is our basic front so that i said it could be the other way around this could be the back of the dress and then the cow could be at the front but this time we're doing the other way around the cow is at the back why this is the front and the neck is like is three by three inches this is a high neck so if you want to learn how to make necklines just check you see one of the videos where i taught different necklines so we said the waist were adding elastic so we are making the waist hip measurement so i just need to add that extra hip measurement into the waist so 
this is it and then we connect it to the post this is the new waist measurement so it's from here now we add our sewing allowance one and half that we did before Connect this nice. Okay, so this is it. And then we add half inch round here. Just this will take add half inch, but I might not be doing all of that. And then you add half inch on the left, half inch on the shoulder. So we just cut this and then you add half inch here also. So after cutting, you see what it looks like. So with my fabric still on fold like this, with my fabric still on fold. Placing the pattern on the center front, I'll just cut two. I'll be cutting two of these because one will be presenting front and one will be presenting the back. But when I'll be cutting the back, back, I'll leave a little out. It's called zipper allowance, but I'm not adding zip because it's a cow neck at the back and there's elastic at the waist, so I can wear it without the zip. But I'll be adding the zip allowance. Why? Because as it's done, I'll be doing the slit, so I need this opening for the slit. So just add one inch or one and a half. I'm doing one and a half in wood, or yeah, one inch is fine. Yeah? So I'll do one inch. I just place it like this, and one inch before I cut. So I'll cut this like this for back, and for the front, I'll place it exactly like this. And then but when I'm done cutting all, you see if you just start. So, so I finished cutting. All the parts of our dress and then i've also cut the lining corresponding lining so for each of them i've cut the lining so when i'm drawing it you see what it looks like i'll be adding lining to it so this uh, facing we add in when you're not adding lining you just place the two shoulders this is the facing you place this shoulder and this shoulder that angle will be together then by the time you place it together, then you join it with the back or the front pattern. This is what it looks like. Look like. So that facing has taken the neck inward. But in a situation where we're using lining instead of facing, we we'll take this out. So I'm using lining because I'm lining the old dress. So we don't need the facing. Then for the lining, the neck of the lining should be the length of the length you took from the shoulder or well, I said take your design length between um, 9 to 13 inches so that's what you take so just cut this out so we're placing our line on this now placing our line on this and then using this to cut. So this is the lining. This neck depth now is by 11 inches. But I know it's exactly 11 because it's a stretchy fabric, so it is still stretched to 11 inches. So you just place it right side facing each other, and then. The shoulder of the lining will place on the shoulder of the main fabric while the neck will arrange it together. So for someone that is not using a stretching material, you will cut exactly the same neck as the fabric. So because I'm using a stretching material, I said to stretch into the main fabric. So this is it. Just pin it. After pinning, I'll pin the side and I'll stretch the neck around. Then take it to my sewing machine, sew it round, then join the sides as well. So I've pinned round, now I'm just going to sew it round as well. So I've sewn it round, you can see I sew it through the armhole as well and then the side. So by the time I turn it, the reason why I sew it around completely is so that I will have needs in now. So this is what we call perfect in seam finishing. 
so I'll have the perfect inseam finishing which are the seam showing okay, so I won't need a weaving machine to do an inner weaving again so this is how to be when I'm joining the sides of the dress so this is it so this is the shoulder back we are back now to our normal shoulder so I'll do the same thing for the front pattern then I'll join the shoulders together I can join the shoulders to see here the folding back but first of all I'll join the line just like this to the back pattern the top the half cut of the back pattern then the skirt part of the front and the skirt part of the back so when I'm drawing all pieces together, then I'll show you how to draw the whole part of the dress. I've added the lining to each part of the dress. You can see this is the sleeve. This is the sleeve. You see the shape. This is the uh, ammo curve. You see now we've turned it with lining. And when you're putting your li lining, you turn it uh, right side facing each other. You sew around and you leave a small opening like this. So this is what you use in turning it out. So here now we just use our needle and thread to tack it up. We still use our sewing machine to just close it. So it's the same thing we did for every part of the dress. This is the upper part I showed you earlier on. See the draping already. The upper part we did the same thing. We left a little opening to turn it, and then all of that. So after this, we join the parts together. The parts I mean is this is the. Uh, skirt part of the front and this is the up now we've joined them together by half inch sewing allowance we added so you could see it so the same thing now we do for the back so this is the front of the dress so the same thing we do for the back the skirt part this is the skirt part now this is the skirt part this is the slit we will work on it later this is the slit so this is the skirt part so we'll be joining this other bodies to it and then um, this is don't forget this is the shoulder of it so you just join place it like this after closing this opening you place it like this chase it the boat meet so you sew it by half inch and then you sew it by half inch to become a whole gun then you cannot join the shoulder of the front and the shoulder of the back then before we join these sleeves together um, so on the front, the back and the front by their half inch. So the next thing that is joining the shoulders, these the shoulders are pinned it together. So I'll just sew it by half inch. Then when I'm done with the shoulders, I'll add the sleeve. But let me just join the shoulders and see what it looks like and I'll show you how to add the sleeve. Cool. So we've joined the shoulders. Now this is the shoulders and I want to add the sleeve to the arm O. So just place so you just place the sleeve like this this okay what you do is get the midpoint like this you get the midpoint of the sleeve fold the sleeve like this then you get the midpoint this midpoint you could notch it but because of this way we lining it we don't want to cut it so just take note of this point this point is where you put on the shoulder joining. So you just place here on the shoulder joining like this. And then use your pin to pin it to hold it together. Then you can now pin the remaining sides of the sleeve this way, this way. Then you do the same thing for the other side. Then you sew it round by half inch. So now we we'll attach the sleeve round the arm hole by half inch you can see it this is what it looks like so the next thing now is to place it like this then get where this arm hole stop and the front and the back arm hole where they meet you place them together let the line meet each other when there's an extra in the sleeve doesn't mean just place them together then you pin it use a pin to secure it like this so by the time you sew it this arm hole line will be touching the back arm the front arm hole line should be touching the back arm hole line from after sewing so where you pin let me show you what it looks like so now i've pinned it 
then after pinning they pin you join the sleeve together and then you pin down to so this is it so i've pinned it then for the half court where the two half courts meet you place the lines together this half court and this half court the front and the back half court you place them together let them touch each other and then you pin as well so this is it then you now pin the whole size down till the end of the gown so by the time you're done pinning you just sew from here straight down to the end you do the same thing at the second side now what are you sewing with you are sewing with the allowance you left if you left one inch sewing allowance you are sewing one inch if you left one and a half you're sewing one and a half so whatever allowance you need is what you will sew all through then if for the sleeve you left only one inch and the bodies you left two uh, two inches then you measure one inch sew to one inch when you get to the arm or continue from whatever allowance you left so after sewing you see what the final look of the dress guys this is the cow neck gown this is basically how to make your cow neck gown you can see the front like i said the cow neck could be at the front ground it could be at the back this is elastic at the sides and this is it so this is the drip the cow neck gown with our lining inside so i guess you guys are going to follow this tutorial and make your own dress it could be a top it could be a gown and then i'll be having some classes i have advanced class where you learn how to make basic corsets you know learn how to make um your jackets uh, signature wear for kids and a whole lot so if you are interested in that class how to pad your hip if you have a um, if you don't have both you could add hip and to your dress and nobody will even know you added hip so i have a class coming up for that too so um if you're interested in that class let me know you'll see my number on the screen there you could just send me a whatsapp message that you're interested in my advanced class or we also have a kitty special class where you learn how to make your pin up for your pin up for for your tree for kids kids ball gun different type of ball gun and all of that so well you could join that class too they are all available also have a, a normal kiddies ball gun class so which of my classes you're interested in just let me know check the number on the screen and then send me a whatsapp message or you can give me a call all right so thank you and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and anyways today's my birthday wish me a happy birthday thank you guys